This is going to be for the O2 hookup. So if you see, these are the pins that are right at the connector. When you plug it in, these are the legs. I tried going from inside the ECU, and I'll flip it over and show you guys after I solder it. Um, it just... I like to get my signal straight from the ECU. Okay, it's quick, easy. Get this light back up here. All right, and I'll bring the ECU up. We'll look at it together. Yep, so it's right on that. It's right on that terminal head. It's not touching the board. And if you look at the ECU, the plugs are like this. And this plug, the one on the left, plug alpha, will plug in, and these two pins are power and ground. So I'm getting my ground signal from the top row, last one on the top, on this side. So you got plug A, B, and D. So plug A, top row, last one from the left, on the left side. And that should be ground. Let's make sure I didn't mess up on that. So I think one, yeah, one should be power, yeah. So the top one. Alright. So that's ground. And we'll, we'll test this later. We'll test this theory later. And then we're going to put a power lead on there. And then we're going to put a signal lead on this side. All right, we're soldering the input terminal for the wideband O2. I just wanted to show you how precise it is. This is not for everybody. You know, if you can't do it, it's fine. Um, this is something that I'm just doing to my own, my own computer. So I have a precision flux needle here. And I don't know if the camera got it. It should have, let's see. Yeah, it did. Okay. Basically just a little syringe with flux. So now we got that on there. Let's... What the hell do I do with my solder? That's always good. Hmm. I have no idea where I put my solder. Let me find it real quick. Okay, now that I'm prepared, let's go in here and just hit this D14 pin. Let's see which is the best way to get it. I think that's it. Yep. That should be solid. as well. Let me try and flatten this out a little bit. I think that should be okay. Okay. Okay, you can see here we have the wide band O2 leads. We got power, red, ground, brown, and signal yellow. 
and that's the top inside of the ECU. These are the plugs. You just flip it around, and there you go. Plug A all the way to the right. When it's flipped over, last two pins. Bottom one's power, top one's ground. Plug all the way to the left, plug D, top row, dead center, there's 11 pins. So the sixth pin, drop it in there so there's five pins on each side, that's your D14. It's your signal wire for your O2. If you see here, I cut this as well on the harness side. And I'm gonna put a little jumper wire in there um, to be able to hook it and unhook it for stock. O2 or to run the Y band off the ECU. The reason I did this is because I think it's better. It's it's to me it's cleaner. You know, it takes a little extra time, but it works. I'll run everything outside the case like this. Glued in. It'll have new coating on it. Everything will be protected. And that'll come out the side right there. And these will be your O2 leads for your wide band. And I mean they're long enough spade clips on the end of it so you can unplug and plug this ECU in and it'll always have a wide band output on the ECU. That's the reason why I do it. So we'll get everything I guess closed up. Alright we're getting the board ready to spray it with a conformal coating so everything's electrically isolated. People have been giving me flack about the way that I ran this. I don't think there's a problem because everything's up off the pin board. Nothing's touching. Nothing will be rubbing. Fits in the case perfectly. So we'll spray this with some conformal coating. Get the back all shiny again and looking new. All right, I gave it a couple nice blasts. Put a nice thick coating on there. Keep the circuit board free of any contacts we're trying to flex and crack some solder okay so we got the new conformal coating on and that about wraps it up again as you can see this is not for everybody it's the way I wanted to do it um, nothing's really touching the board everything got glued out of the way the case was notched everything's electrically isolated so we'll get the ECU back together and see how the other side looks Okay, so let's recap on everything that we went through up until now. We have installed the data logging capability to a Bluetooth FTDI and just routed the cable up around on the case. We've chipped the ECU. And depending on how you want to run your Y-band, if you followed my instructions, you will have a self-contained ECU with the Y-band function. Or if you go into the car on your harness side, you would cut D14 and use the end on the connector side as your um, input for your O2 sensor. So either way will work. It's just really up to you. So stay tuned for the next installments of videos on Honda Tuning 101. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.